Hi and welcome. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take the inside parts of this computer and put them in this case because this case don't have enough space for the graphics card. This is the old one, the GTX 1060, 6 gigabytes. This one has two fans, that one fits. The RTX 3080 with three fans does not. So that's why we're gonna change the case. And the black case is an old one. It's a big one, but it's an old one. So there's gonna be plenty of dust in there. So we're gonna remove the parts from the inside and we're gonna take it upstairs and uh, make it clean. Or we may even clean it down here. We're gonna clean it anyway. So yeah, here we go. Now, this is important to note that you should never use a vacuum cleaner in a PC because of uh, static electricity. That can really damage a computer. But right here, we just have the case. Okay, we've got a few three SSDs. Uh, and we got some old components that's, well, it's filled with dust and for those of you who don't know this is a DVD writer it can write stuff to a disc a DVD disc those are the kinds of discs that you would have a, a movie on for instance think about that all right so uh, let's get to do some vacuum some stuff. I have uh, cleaned the case as much as uh, I felt needed. I have removed a uh, silence plate that was here. I removed that one so I can have the radiator for the water cooling up there for the CPU. I've installed the, the power supply and I've mounted the front to it and put the cables in. I don't know if you can see it there, right there but there it is. So uh, I've also removed motherboard, I've cleaned the CPU and prepared that one to reassemble the, the cooler. So this one is ready to go inside, I didn't clean this very much, as you may see. Now, when you're dealing with computers, you should have an EDS bracelet, I can't remember the name right now, on top of my head, but you should always wear that so that you don't damage the, the pieces. And uh, as you can see, I have, I've got mine right, right here. 
it's right there connected to everything uh, so I removed it from the old case or the actually this is my new case but the the one that's too small I haven't cleaned this one I'm gonna prepare this for the old parts and just run air cooling there that's about it I don't think I missed anything actually I did this one that one I'm gonna have so that we keep it nice and tidy for all our ports now this can be a little tricky to mount sometimes not always but sometimes uh, that one slid right in there that one's broken okay that one's broken too so this is the thing with old cases stuff break ah, those are good enough throw it in the trash and uh, yeah let's mount the motherboard now you want to be gentle with this you don't want to break it you should see all the little holes right here for all the little screws to go in and also the ports on the back side should be brightly mounted now let's see those are not equal you don't want to twist them too hard so you want to be able to adjust it a little bit if needed hopefully you shouldn't need it but you never know you don't want to damage the threads either now this is a nice rgb motherboard which is going to be perfectly unnecessary because no one will ever see it well, that's that's a little boring but it is what it is so make sure it's properly tight uh, tightened don't overdo it so now we have the motherboard in place we want to get some cabling going so that we can get that out of the way i'm actually gonna place it like this so that you can see these cables we won't need so we're gonna tighten them up there the zip tie just gonna see if i can find one if i can remember where i threw them yeah there some changes Ch changes changes I had to remediate my uh, previous thought about having the uh, the SSD on the back behind the motherboard since the cables didn't fit and uh, well that's it's how it is but in doing so I tried some different things I tried to place See if I could mount the SSD in different places, which didn't work. So in the end, I had to reinstall this disk cage, which is in the way of the fan, which I'm not a fan of. But it is what it is. I'm just going to have one disk there and one tray as well. The other trays will be in a drawer somewhere. I've plugged in the motherboard again, and uh, now we've got some more cabling to do. So uh, yeah, let's get to it.
sure Philip here. Uh, yeah, I've shaved my hair. Don't bother about it. As I'm editing this video, I realized that the camera died during the initial process. So I just want to tell you that I did manage to get all the pieces in the new or the, the old case, which sits right behind the, this monitor that you can't see. Uh, and all the old pieces are back in the, the small white chassis. So uh, yeah, everything is good. Don't miss next week's video. <coughs> Sorry, I caught a cold. I'm not sure when I'll be returning it to the previous owner, but you know how it is. Uh, anyway, the computer is back together. There may come a video in a short amount of time where I install and have my first look at uh, the RTX 3080, which I didn't have at the time that I was recording. Well, as I'm recording this part, I do have it. When I recorded the previous part, I did not have it. I hadn't received it yet. Now I have installed it, and uh, there'll be another video on that one. But hey, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment saying that you loved it. That really helps. If you didn't like it, uh, play it at half the speed or double the speed. Try mixing a little bit and see if it helps or if it doesn't. Well, anyway, thanks you for watching and until I see you next time, have a good one. Bye!